second race made me smile <laughs> a little bit. So. What a day. Um, obviously, you learned a lot yesterday, from yesterday. Yes. Um, try to put it together in, in race three, first race of the day, yeah. but it all came together that, that second race. Yeah, definitely. I, I don't know. It was, I don't know. I just felt I felt really fast in the first upwind, and I kind of just kept that going throughout the whole race. And the position I was in, I really s stayed in that middle group, which was really nice, and I was able to be as fast as everybody else, which which is great for the confidence for sure. Is it good getting out on the whatever side you was on, clear air, and then get that that speed moving to that first mark? Oh yeah, for sure. I don't know. I, I definitely felt like my. Especially in the second race, my bow speed was a little bit better. The wind dropped a tiny bit, which mm -hmm. was a little bit in my favor. Right. So I was, I thought I was really fast. So I was able to get out in uh, in clear air a lot quicker than the other races. The other races, I was kind of struggling to get through the field and and get into the open space. But in the second race, I definitely managed it. The first race was a little bit of a struggle, but I I managed to pass a few boats at the very end, which was nice. At least I didn't stay in the back like I like I was before so so where's that 28 Frank in your all time sort of performances oh uh, well I get it's hard to say I've had some some other good races but I mean in the Olympics to to have that that result it's it's a really great feeling just like when you see the people that you're beating and, and that sort of thing so it's it's definitely up there for sure, if not the yeah. best, yeah. the best race in my career. And you mentioned the past often, little laps in concentration can often pull you back, let you down. Was it a case today that race that you were on it and you know everything went well for you and you made the right decisions? Yeah, it was it was it was really like that. I mean, at the beginning, I was I was in that mode where I was struggling to get free, which is why I was a little bit farther back in the middle. But as soon as I was able to to get into that mode. It was it was just smooth sailing as they say. <laughs> Do you go back and now visualize that start again and get yourself prepared for tomorrow? Try to get into those same. I know the conditions will never be the same day from day, but do you try to put yourself in that same frame of mind, that same position? Oh yeah, for sure. Like when you have a good start or a good race, you try to take those moments and and bring them into the next races in order to, to help yourself improve and, and hopefully have better races in the next races to come. And you talked about before the Olympics causing a few upsets. Would today, would today one of those upsets? Is that the sort, this is the sort of position you're thinking you could perhaps get yourself in or are you looking beyond that now thinking I can get a bit higher? Well, I think definitely I feel like I can be in that middle group, but it's just, it's just really difficult. I mean, when you think about it, I mean, I, I got here on the wild card, so I mean, the other wild card guy is in the very, very back, which is where technically I should be. So it's nice to be able to do better than what people will think I'm going to do. So it appears you're punching above, above your weight. Do you feel that perhaps competing on the biggest stage that brings your sort of guy that maybe that you need that to bring the best out of you? Yeah, for sure. I mean, like the races are t so tough and tight that. I mean, any of the guys can be down the back, and any of the guys down the back can be at the front. It's just being able to be consistently good during the whole race. Because you can have a moment where you're doing really well, but then the whole race, it's like doing 10 races, but within one race, you know? So, like, to be able to be consistently good throughout the whole race and hold your position, is that's the key. And the really good guys can do that. Good. 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 So you must have been pretty good now looking forward for the next few days. You've, you've set a good foundation for yourself. You've had two pretty good races out at the, the four. So. Yeah, yeah it's just trying to, to even out uh, from the bad mistakes and make those into to good moves. You know? So just thinking about all the, the good stuff I did and try to make it, put it all together for one race. Do you go to bed tonight with a smile on your face? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess I do. All right, I mean, well. I always will, yeah. just because, I mean, we're at the Olympics and it's a great experience. So. But it is nice to finish off the day with a nice race. And finally, you have already said that, but the conditions today, were they suited to you? Was it, was it good for you today? Uh, when the wind dropped in the second race, just that little bit, that was almost my optimal condition. A tiny bit lighter would have been, like, really nice for me. But that was, the second race was really nice for me. The first race... I didn't feel so fast because I was, I was struggling a tiny bit, so that little extra bit of boat speed was, I was trying to find it the whole race, but the second race I definitely felt a lot better. Cool.
Cool. Alright, cool. Though. Give us a give us sum up your day today. Um, it was tough. Like yesterday. I was caught on the wrong side of the ships a lot of the time, which is kinda difficult and I don't have the best boat speed, so it was hard climbing back. But. You look at you look at uh, your overall performance thus far. Um, at, what do you think over the next few days you have to work on to improve? Um, I think it's lots of little things that are like hard to like point out because like everyone here like makes so many like like not even mistakes even so it's really hard to. What did you think of today's conditions? Were they better than yesterday? I didn't like them as much. I like it when it's like shorter wind shifts and today there was like much longer wind shifts. Mm -hmm. And I think it was a bit windier. I don't know, it was kind of up and down as well. But. Right. When do you look at the forecast to, or yeah, the forecast to see what plan you're going to have to come up with to attack each race kind of thing? Um, well, my forecast hasn't been too right with the weather here, so mostly it's been going out in the water and seeing how it is. The wind has been like up and down and like depending on where you're sailing, it's quite different, so you've had to do that. And how has this competition differed from previous, like the Pan Ams or the Youth Olympics? Is this like a whole new ball game? Is, it, is, it, is the gap that big, do you feel? Or? Um, well, it's definitely bigger than the Pan Ams. Pan Ams, it's like a small fleet. There's only 12 of us, and here there's 37, I think. And, and the quality of the sailors, is that? Oh, yeah, it's huge. They're <laughs> like the top in the world. All the Europeans are really good and lots of the other countries, so... So you must feel pretty pleased the way you equip yourself so far, considering you're up against the top women in the world. Yeah, I mean, I'm really happy that I've been... Um, it's been kind of annoying that I've been up there and then like I've dropped back on like the second upwind and like downwind sometimes but it's nice like seeing myself up there and then you taking this as a learning curve yeah, yeah definitely I'm just soaking in the experience and learning as much as I can here is that a bigger difference the fact that if you make a slight error you get punished severely here when perhaps yeah on level you probably get away with it maybe yeah that's a lot of the thing like most fleets you can get away with small mistakes whereas here it's like ends up being huge <laughs> and you seem the sort of person that um, you, you learn quite quickly when you're in the race do you feel that you're going to be learning a hell of a lot from this experience going forward yeah I think I've learnt lasers quite fast I've only been in the boat for two years so I think I've just got so much to learn and like it's been a great time here so. yesterday we talked about moving your weight around did you adjust quickly or quicker today than you did yesterday um, I'm not sure. I think it was just different conditions, and I tried to like work on it a bit, but there's so much going on that right. it's hard. So. At times, do you feel uh, when you're racing, especially here, do you feel like it's it gets it gets overwhelming for you at times? I mean, being the second day, you've kind of gotten used to it, and you've been training against these girls here for a little while now. Most of them have been down here, so it does get kind of quite used to it. But sometimes you do kind of like have a moment where you're like, "Oh my God, I'm at the Olympics." And <laughs> <laughs> but, but just soaking up everything, taking yeah, it in. It's just really nice. Okay. All right. Well, congratulations. Thanks. Good job. Time. We'll see you tomorrow. You're welcome. Thanks. Thanks.